Sister Joyce, welcome. Joy, peace, and victory. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, hit that share button. Hit the share button. Hallelujah. Give me some hearts and some thumbs up. Hit the share button if you will tonight. Welcome. the name of the Lord. God bless you, Sister Sharon God. Glory to God. Hit that share button if you will.
Ah, bless his name. Bless his name. Come on, hit that share button for me. Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Bishop Darrell Towns, I'm the visionary and founder of Wings of an Eagle Christian Fellowship Ministries, Incorporated, right here in the state of New Jersey, temporarily located in Patterson, New Jersey, temporarily. We are not a church, but we are a ministry. We are not a local church, but we are a ministry, a ministry to the needs of God's people, and especially to the needs of the men and women of God. Praise the Lord. We, we, want to, we want to help the men and women of God be men and women of God with class and with protocol. And that's why we're here. This is why God has given me this ministry to help the men and women of God in ministry so that they may be able to go forward God bless you, Brother Dale Towns, that they were able to go forward and to do what God has called them to do. Welcome once again to Wings of the Eagle Christian Fellowship Ministries. I am your host, Bishop Darrell Towns. It's a blessing to be with you tonight. God bless you, Elder K. Banks. It's a blessing to be with you tonight. Dr. K. Banks, let me correct myself. Dr. Elder K. Banks. God bless you, ma'am. It's a blessing to be with you tonight. It's just a glorified blessing. And I'm also, I'm, I'm really blessed tonight to see Dr. K. Banks, Dr. Elder K. Banks in the room. Amen. Her husband, Bishop Hubert Banks, was my pastor for 13 years. I was his minister of music. He was my pastor for 13 years and he taught me so much. And, and I thank God for him and let him know Dr. Banks that Wings of Eagle Christian Fellowship is praying for him. It is because of PDT Worship Center and Bishop K. Banks through the working of the Holy Ghost that I am where I am. And I thank God for him. I thank God for all of those that had an impact on my life. Amen. Especially, especially my late chief apostle Apostle Larry Earl Boston, a man who, who, who thought it not robbery, and I think I was the last one he laid his hands upon and consecrated into the bishophood before God called him home. And we thank God for our present chief apostle, Apostle Billy M. Perry, looking forward to seeing him in the house in just a moment. But we thank God for each and every one of you. And we bless God tonight. I want to do something very special tonight. And I'm glad Dr. Elder K. Banks is here. I want to dedicate tonight's broadcast to Bishop Hubert Banks. Tonight's broadcast is dedicated to Bishop Hubert Banks. And I thank God, again, I cannot thank God for him enough. And as soon as they lift this quarantine and allowed visitation, I'm coming to see him. Amen. He's been on my mind and in my spirit. But tonight's broadcast is dedicated to Bishop Hubert Banks. And I thank God for God, the man of God that I was allowed to serve under for 13 years. And I thank God. Just want to remind you, amen, don't forget about our Northern District Conference prayerfully, amen, we're praying and we're believing God that by May, 
the 13th through the 15th, right here in the city of Patterson. We're praying by that time this quarantine would have been lifted. Amen. And, and service will be back to, to, to normal. But May 13th through the 15th, providing that this quarantine is lifted and we're able to have service as normal, our Northern District Conference will come off and will come forward on May the 13th through the 15th, right after Mother's Day. 2020 right here in the city of Patterson at Chief Cornerstone Covenant Church right here in the city of Patterson at 679 East 19th Street Patterson New Jersey Pastor Janice Bullock is the pastor amen she is the pastor our Northern District Conference of the Victoria International Fellowship where I am the Northern District Bishop will be right here in the city of Patterson, May the 13th through the 15th. And we're looking to have a glorious time in the Lord if God allows and then lift this quarantine. Keep your ears open. Keep your eyes on my page. I will let you know as we get closer to May just what we're going to be doing. I am not canceling anything yet because I believe God. And I believe that God is going to do a miracle in the midst of the people. This thing has got to stop and it's going to stop. God already let me know trouble don't last always. And he let me know that it won't be too much longer now. That this thing is going to get out of here. And back to the pits of the lower pits of hell. To the abyss where it came from. So we're looking to have a great time in God, May the 13th through the 15th, 2020. Amen. At 679 East 18th Street, Chief Cornerstone Covenant Church, Pastor Janice Bullock is the pastor. She'll be opening up on the 13th. She's going to open up the conference on the 14th. Will be our Pastor William Spellman and the good people of Prevailing Rock Ministries. And then on the 15th, I bless the name of God. I'm supposed to close it as the district bishop, but we're going to see what the Lord does. I got this mic toss in my spirit. So between myself, my chief apostle, and our first assistant, we might have a mic toss and just enjoy the word and enjoy the Lord on the 15th and close out the northern district conference of the Victoria International Fellowship 2020. So we're looking to have a great time. We thank God for Pastor Bullock. She's one of our pastors and we thank God for her. We thank God for Chief Cornerstone and for her allowing us to have the district conference at Chief Cornerstone Covenant Church. It's a blessing and it's an honor and I thank God for her. Thursday night, April the 2nd, will be our third clarion prayer call right here on Facebook Live. Right here on Facebook Live will be our third clarion prayer call. Amen. On Thursday night, right here on Facebook Live. Now listen, I know some people don't have, are not computer savvy. I know some folk don't have Facebook. So the conference line, Wings of an Eagle Christian Fellowship conference line will be open on Thursday night doing the clarion call, clarion prayer call, Facebook Live. The conference line will be open. The number for the conference line is 720-835. 5366. I feel an anointing already. 720-835-5366. Use the access code. 9850-9855. The conference line will be open. As, as we're here on Facebook Live, 
doing the clarion prayer call on Thursday, April the 2nd, 2020, 7.30 p.m. We'll be right here on Facebook Live for our clarion prayer call. You can dial in a call of 720-835-5366 and use the access code of 09855 and you'll be able to listen in on the clarion prayer call. God has spoken and instructed me to pray. It is time to pray, saints. It is time to pray. God bless your daughter. It is time to pray. It is time to seek God's face. And I'm not going to quote the scripture. We've heard it, we've heard it, and we've heard it for the last couple of weeks. But it is time for the saints of God to pray. Seek God's face. It is time to pray. It's time to seek God. So we're going to be in prayer on Thursday right here on Facebook Live. Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. I posted the flyer already at 7.30 p.m. Amen. Amen. God bless. 7.30 p.m. Right here on Facebook Live. Clarion prayer call right here. Amen. The conference line again. 720. Inbox me your number, daughter. 720-835-5366. And use the access code of 0985. Five, five. God bless you. I'm telling you, I feel an anointing already. I feel the power of God. Bless his name. I feel the power of God already. Amen. So we praise God tonight. And we thank God tonight for each one of you. Join us here on next Sunday, 7.30 p.m. We're here every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. There may be Sundays I'll push it back to 8, depending on what's going on. I also want to invite you on Sunday at 12.30. Sunday at 12.30. Tune in to Facebook Live to Prevalent Rock Ministry to the virtual Worship service of Prevalent Rock Ministries. I'm telling you, Pastor Elder William Spellman is the pastor at Prevailing Rock Ministries, better known as Miracle Man. Amen. I'm telling you, 293 Pacific Street in Hackensack, New Jersey. Amen. We were live on Facebook Live this morning. I'm telling you, Pastor preached this morning. So, Sunday. Until further notice, Prevailing Rock Virtual Worship Service right here on Facebook Live at 12.30. If you don't get the notification, go to the Prevailing Rock Facebook page and like the page. And then click on notification. Be clicked on, a, I believe there's a scroll down somewhere where you can click and be notified when we go live. They're also live on YouTube. Amen. YouTube, Prevailing Rock on YouTube. You can go to Prevailing Rock, key in YouTube, and you will come right to the service. Join us there every Sunday. A pastor, Pastor William Spellman, amen, preaches the word of God on our virtual worship service. We had a time in the house. The anointing of God met us as we did the live this morning and under the guidance of of our Pastor William Spellman and the regulations of the state of New Jersey. We did what we needed to do to get the word out. So join us next Sunday right here, Facebook Live, Prevailing Rock Ministries. Elder William Spellman is the pastor there. And we have, we've had, we, we have a, a good time doing the live. Amen. Doing the live. Every, we know everybody is live streaming now. But you know what? This is a good time to get as much word as you can. Because in times like this, you need the word of God. We, you need all the word you can get in times like this. 
all the word. You can get Sister Ross inbox me your phone number. We'll talk. Amen. So, so join us. Join Prevail and Rock every Sunday, 1230, virtual worship with our elder William Spellman. Amen. We thank, I thank God for Pastor Spellman. I've been with Pastor Spellman now six years. Just about, I think it's six years now I've been with him. And God has truly blessed my life and has blessed my wife's life. And on that note, I thank God and I give honor to my wife. Amen. Evangelist Barbara P. Sykes Towns. God allowed my chief apostle to license her as an evangelist. And we want to recognize her. Amen. As the evangelist of the Northern District. And we thank God for her. I praise God for her. You talk about a fighting woman. Amen. She's a fighting woman. And I thank God for her. And I praise God for her. I honor her. And I thank God for my wife, my companion, the love of my life, the sugar in my coffee, the sweetness in my chocolate. I thank God for my wife and I praise God for her. And she's a blessing to me. And I thank God for her. Now, I think I got through it all. Amen. So keep your eye on Facebook for Prevailing Rock's announcement. Because I believe Pastor Virtual Bible But I know I'll be here on Thursday night. Amen. In the Clarion prayer call. Amen. Along with the conference line being open. Amen. And we're going to have a great time in prayer. It's time to pray. And it's time to talk to our Savior. And to let him know. It's time to cry out to him. That's how deliverance comes. Let me tell you something, saints of God. And I'm going to the word. I'm going to pray. And then I'm going to the word. When the children of Israel. Was in bondage under the thumb of Pharaoh the Bible says that they cried and they prayed and asked God to send a deliverer and God sent Moses and Moses brought them out by the strong arm of the Lord so in order to get deliverance in the land today we need to pray we need to cry there's a song that we that, that the old folks used to sing years ago, and I think I might sing that one sometime soon. I cried. He delivered me. He delivered my poor soul. So we need to pray. We're going to be praying on Thursday night. I'm not going to be preaching. I'm not going to be teaching. I am going to be in prayer. So if you've got a prayer request, send it to my email address. Wings of the Eagle fellowship outlook.com wings of the eagle worship hour I'm sorry wings of the eagle worship hour outlook.com wings of the eagle worship hour outlook.com send your prayer request there there's no prayer request too small or too big if, if you have a prayer request Please send it to the email address. I want to print it. I want to lay my hands on it. And I want to believe God. I want to anoint it. Lay my hands on it. And trust and, be and believe God. For a miracle. For your request. So send your request. To Wings of an Eagle Worship Hour. Outlook.com We're going to be praying. Amen. We thank God. Coming, 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 coming. Real soon. You might have seen it, but coming real soon. God has blessed us to go to radio. We're going to be going to Pope Radio, Mix LR. Download it, download the app, Mix LR. God bless you, Brother Robert Scott. Download the, the app, Mix LR. Download it. Amen. We're going to be going to Pope Radio real soon. We're not giving up our life. But we're going to be doing our radio broadcast as well on Pope Radio Mix LR. Download it right now. Download it. Get ready. Download it. And then look for Pope Radio. We're going to be on Pope Radio real soon. Amen. And it's coming real soon. And you don't want to miss any of the nights that the bishop is on. There are other preachers on. Amen. Our proper smiley. Amen. Our preacher, 
from Cornerstone Baptist Church in Hackensack and him and his wife will be on. There's preachers being on, so you don't want to miss what is happening at Mix LR, Pulp Radio, Mix LR. I'll be on real soon. So go to your go to your Microsoft store or wherever or your 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 blue your iPhone app or whatever and download Mix LR and then look search for Pulp Radio. Amen. We'll be going there. We'll be on radio there real soon. Amen. And we bless God for uh, Pope Radio. God bless you, Brother Robert Scott. Good to see you, bro. Missing you. Amen. You need to give me a call. We haven't talked in a while. Amen. God bless you, sir. Amen. We thank God for our Brother Robert Scott, the grandson of another one of my mentors. Amen. Amen. Another one of my mentors. Pastor Joe Scott Jr., the late Pastor Joe Scott, the one and only late Pastor Joe Scott Jr., amen, and we thank God for him, the, the late pastor of Faith Temple Church of God in Christ, amen, he was one of my mentors, he taught me a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and I thank God for Pastor Joe Scott, amen, I believe he had a birthday this week, amen, I assume that his family was celebrating his birthday, what? Amen. So we thank God for the late Pastor Joe Scott Jr. Amen. And we bless God for him and the Faith Temple Church of God and Christ's family. Amen. And we thank God for them. Amen. And we're praying for Faith Temple. We're praying for Faith Temple. Not only are we praying for Faith Temple. I'm going to the word real soon. Not only are we praying for Faith Temple. We are praying for the Church of God and Christ all over. There are so many generals who have fallen asleep in the church of God in Christ. Death has hit the church of God in Christ. This demon has hit the church of God in Christ. Bishops in the church of God in Christ have been affected by this demon and have fallen asleep. So we're going to be, we want to be praying on Thursday night. We're going to be praying for the church of God in Christ. Amen. And the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ. Amen. We thank God. See, I used to be cogent. Amen. And I love the grand old Church of God in Christ. Amen. I'm not cogent now, but I used to be cogent. Amen. I was born in it. Amen. You can't, I, would, I didn't join it. I was born in it. Amen. So I love the Church of God in Christ. Amen. I thank God for, for the Church of God. We're praying for the Church of God in Christ and those and wives who have lost those bishops' wives who have who have lost their husbands due to this demon that's that's running the earth. The Bible said in the book of Job, and I preached it, I think I talked about this last Sunday. The Bible said that the devil went to the devil, God said to the devil, Where you been? He said, I've been running to and fro in the earth. Well, this demon is to and fro in the earth. Taking folk out by the thousands. But I told the devil, you can't come, you can't touch this. My name is Hammer, but you can't touch this. Because I'm anointed. And I've been appointed. And I'm covered by the blood. Hey, well, shut up. Well, bless his name. So we bless God. And we thank God for the grand old church of God in Christ. Amen. And we thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. I think I, I think I've got what I need to cover. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, amen. God bless you, Godson. Amen. God bless you, uh, Lawrence Kearney. God bless you. Amen. Doctor, Doctor Basemore. God bless you, sir. Amen. You need to reach me. Amen. We thank God for Doctor Troy Basemore in the house. Amen. We bless God. Listen, I'm going to the pray. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for your word. We thank you, oh God, because of who you are. But God, not by might nor by power, but it's by your spirit, saith the Lord. So God, we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you the honor. Now, God, I decrease and let you, and you, God, increase. As I proclaim and stand and preach the word and teach the word, God speak through me, use me. I'm your vessel. 
and I yield myself to you and to the anointing. And God, I give you the glory. In the enemy, I come against every destruction that's not like you. In the name of Jesus, everything that may try to hinder the word tonight, even on the airways, even in the Wi-Fi, I bind it now in Jesus' name. And I call it done in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Turn in your Bibles with me. Turn in your Bibles with me. Amen. To 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 4. My cash app is there. If you want to be a blessing to me, amen, you can do so. You can sow into my life. Catch it. You can sow into my life, which also goes into the ministry. So I need to do what I do. You can sow into my life. The cash app is there. Money sign NJ Bishop D. You, NJ Bishop D. You can sow into my life and be a blessing to the man of God if the Lord moves upon you to do so. Amen. That's, and that's all I'm going to say on that because I am not a money preacher. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter 4. 1 Timothy chapter 4. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Do you have your ears on? <laughs> Do you have your ears on? Hallelujah. First Timothy is where I want to launch off at. We know that Paul was talking and teaching Timothy, uh, who was an upcoming bishop in the Lord's church. He was teaching Timothy and grooming our brother Timothy. And Paul was teaching Timothy so much in the book of Timothy. And I often say, if you are training preachers and you are training ministers, people to men, men and women of God to be ministers, the first and second Timothy are the best books to begin the training. But Paul taught Timothy a lot of things. But first Timothy, amen, chapter four. Verse one. It says, now the spirit says, and I'm reading from the NIV, uh, I'm sorry, the ESV, Eastern Standard Version. Now the spirit expressly says that in the last times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirit and teaching of demons. Do you have your ears on? Revelations chapter 2. The spirit speaketh. King James says the spirit speaketh. Ex especially in the last days. Uh, Revelations chapter 2. Revelations chapter 2. Verse 1. And he's talking to the church at Ephesus. He says at verse 7. He says here. Uh, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Let me get to verse 7. He that has an ear, verse 7 in Revelations 2 and 7. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. And I'm going to go over to Matthew 11, but not right this moment. He that has an ear... Let him hear what the Spirit said to the church. Do you have your ears on? Uh, years ago, back well, many some a few years ago, back in the I would say the early seventies, late seventies, there was a fad going on. It was a CB fad going on. Everybody was getting a CB and putting it in their cars. Uh, and we know the truckers have always had CBs, but 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 now folk were buying CBs and installing those in their cars. And there was uh, there there was a, a thing that when you get ready to uh, uh, call another CBer, Amen. You would say breaker breaker one nine or whatever their call numbers was. 
do you have your ears on? And that, but in other words, are you listening? Can are you hearing me? Can are you listening to me? Are you catching what I'm saying to you? Breaker, breaker, one nine. Do you have your ears on? That's what I want to talk about tonight. You as the body of Christ, I'm asking a question. Do you have your ears on? God is speaking in these last days. God is talking in this last times. In the last couple of weeks, God has been talking. Ever since this demon has been unleashed in the earth, God has been speaking. And I'm wondering to myself, all these people who claim to be prophets and prophetess, amen, I'm wondering, do they really have their ears on? God is talking. God is speaking to your America. God is talking to the body of Christ. There's a message in the storm. There's a message in the wind. And God is talking to his people. Oh, bless his name. God is talking to his people. Uh, there, are, there, are, there are some areas uh, that I want to deal with tonight. Bless the name of God. First of all, there is selective hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is selective hearing. What is selective hearing? Selective hearing that hear what you want to hear. We got some folk in the body of Christ. And I know this ain't going to be one of them hooping messages and I might hoop before it's over. But we got some folk in the body of Christ that has selective hearing to the spirit of God. They only hear what they want to hear. They don't hear what God is speaking to them. They only hear what they want to hear. And what appeases and pleases the ear. Ah, now I'm not talking about the natural ear. Come on, follow me tonight. I'm talking about the spiritual ear tonight. We got some folk in the church who has selective hearing. God bless you, chief apostle. We got some folk in the body of Christ that have selective hearing. They only hear what they want to hear. If it's something that doesn't appeal to them, or you're stepping on their toes, or the Holy Ghost is dealing with them, they'll shut their ear down. They only hear the good stuff, the stuff that they tickles their ears, and the stuff that is, praise the Lord, that is nice, that is comfortable for them, and to them and gentle to them. But I ask the question once again. Do you have your ears on? Ah, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, bless his name. I feel the anointing. And then we have, secondly, we have some folk who can't hear at all. They're just pure deaf spiritually. They're just so far from the anointing. They are shut down and they can't hear nothing at all. God is talking and they still ain't hearing. God is beating them upside the head and they still ain't hearing. Calamity has hit their house and they still ain't hearing. Oh, bless the name. Death has walked through their, 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 death has walked through their genealogy and they still ain't hearing. They lost their jobs and they still ain't hearing. Do you have your ears on he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. God bless you, Pastor McCall. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. God is talking to the church. God is talking to the body of Christ in these last days and in these last weeks. What is God saying? I believe in my spirit that God is saying it's time to come back to the altar. It's time to put the altar back in front of the pulpit. It's time to come to the altar. I remember the days, and I remember the days I saw a picture. I don't remember who posted it in black and sack, but they posted a picture of the old deacons of Mount Olive Baptist Church. And I remember it took me back. Back to the days, Pastor McCall, when they used to have the uh, community revivals. 
And I remember walking into the sanctuary and prayer was going on. Somebody was praying. Somebody had a hymn going on. Somebody had a song going on. They were around the altar before the preachers took the altar. It's time to come back to the place of prayer. Do you have your ears on? God is talking today. God is speaking in these latter days. Expressly in the latter days. God is talking and saying, come back to me. God is saying, come back to my to your first love. You have left your first love. You've got selective hearing. Now you just say y'all got death hearing. But God is saying, I want to pop your ears open. And I want you to hear what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, come on home. Oh, come on home to me. Oh, bless the name of God. Some people, some people's got some problems with their spiritual hearing, if you will. They got spiritual tendonitis in the ear. What is spiritual tendonitis? It is that roaring in the ear that causes the sound. You know, sometimes some folk got that problem, don't you know? And they got to go to the ear doctor and because they got a constant roaring in the ears and it, it distorts the sounds of the air coming in to the ears. What is that roaring? That's folk talking in your ear. Hmm. Yeah, that's folk talking in your ear. Talking all kinds of nonsense. Talking all kinds of un of doubt, fear, and unbelief. Uh, they got the roaring in your ears. Uh, but I want to ask the question tonight uh, once more and again. Uh, do you have your ears on? Ah, uh, bless the name of God. Uh, and then some folk have uh, that inner ear ringing in their ears. Uh, that ear that constantly ringing. And no matter what they do, it's an, and see that ringing can get annoying. Uh, that ringing can get uh, on your nerves. Uh, Oh, bless the name of God. Some people got that ringing in their ears. They got the devil singing in their ears. They got the devil whispering in their ears. You ought to do this and you ought to do that. And you know you're going to die. And you know you're going to get this. But I come to stop by to tell the devil tonight. I got my ears on. And I heard the spirit of the Lord say to me, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I heard Psalm 91 saying, no plague shall come nigh my dwelling. I got my ears on. Do you have your ears on tonight? Are you hearing from heaven tonight? Are you hearing what the Lord is saying tonight? Concerning all this confusion in the earth. It's if you're not hearing what God is saying. You need to get back the altar. You need to get on your face before God uh, and get the mind of Christ. Oh, bless the name of God. Get the mind of Christ. Get here and hear what God is saying. Hear what God is talking. Know what God is saying to you. Lord, how do I deal with this thing? God, you see what's going on around me. God, what do I do? Get the mind of Christ. Do you have your ears on tonight? Are you listening to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying? Are you listening to what God is saying? Or do you have a, a selective hearing? Or you just have spiritual deafness when you're just not hearing what the Lord is saying? Uh, I want to close this message with this last scripture. Uh, Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. Oh, bless the name of God. Amen. God bless your sister Sandra Palmer. Matthew chapter 11. Oh, bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I want to go to verse 15. Oh, bless it. I want to close with verse 15, if you will. It says here, uh, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Oh, so what the Bible is simply saying is hear what God is saying. For the scripture declared, my sheep know my voice and none other will they follow. Do you know the voice of God? I'm not going there tonight. Do you know God's voice? Do you 
know do you know when God is speaking if you don't know the voice you need to get to the altar and hear what God is saying stop listening to CNN stop listening to the news Stop reading the newspaper and start reading the word. Start going to God in prayer and say, God, how long must Moses must this happen? How long? Why did this happen, God? Why did you allow this thing to happen? Uh, the Bible says, uh, the Bible says, uh, and I got, got some Bible scholars in here tonight. Uh, you remember what the word says? Uh, that Jehoshaphat was going up against the Philistines. Uh, and the Bible says Jehoshaphat uh, went to the man of God, uh, and the man of God uh, went to God. Uh, so you got to know and hear God. Uh, you got to get it from God. Lord, what do I do? I need to be instructed. I need to know what's happening. Oh, bless the name of God. I need to know what's happening. Do you have your ears on? Are you hearing God? Are you listening to God? Or do you have selective hearing? Mm. Do you have sir, selective hearing? All these prophets, people out here uh, claiming to be prophets and didn't see this thing coming. Ha. Yeah, you didn't have your ears on. Uh, you didn't have your ears on. You wasn't listening. You were listening to that money that was ching ching -ing. You were listening to them dollar bills that were, that were being dropped. You weren't listening to the Spirit of the Lord. Because if you were hearing God, God would have told you what was coming. And he would have told you, warn the people. Uh, warn the people. Uh, you don't believe it? Look in the Word. Every time before calamity came, God told the prophet, and the prophet warned the people. Read the Word of God. The prophet warned the people. But I'm so glad I'm so glad I got my ears on and I'm listening to God. And I'm waiting to hear. I'm waiting to hear. Do you have your ears on? Or are you just listening? Are you just listening with deaf ears and dull ears? Or you just have that selective hearing? Or you just don't, can't hear at all? Put your ears on. Anoint your ears with ears salve. As the old folk used to say, anoint your ears with ears salve so that you'll be able to hear what the Lord is saying. Anoint your heart with heart salve so you can receive what God is saying. Do you have your ears on? Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening to what God is saying? There's a message in this storm. I'm here to tell you, there's a message in this storm. There's a message in the Shoto, there's a message in the There is a message in the storm. I hear the Lord say, There is a message, but my people are not listening. I'm, I'm trying to speak to them in the storm, saith God, but my people are not listening. I hear God said, I'm trying to talk to them and tell them what's what, why I've allowed this to happen. But my people, my people, my called one, my chosen one, my handpicked ones are not listening, saith God. Put your ears on. Put your ears on. Put your ears on. Put your ears on. Listen to the voice of God. Shut that TV off. Shut that news off. And get on your face and talk to God and hear what the Lord says. And I'm telling you, men and women of God that are listening in, I'm telling you, if you get on your face, if you'll begin to pray and turn to heaven, he will let you know exactly what's going on and why it happened. This ain't no accident. This ain't nothing that just took, that just, that just oh, it was just something that just happened out of the blue. God had a reason. But he has a solution to the pollution. And he's ready to give it to the man of God. Yeah. See, I, God already spoke to me. He let me know what the solution is. And I sort of hit the two through the message tonight. He let me know what the solution is. Uh, but put your ears on, saints of God. Men and women of God, put your ears on. You want to know why it's happening? You want to know why it happened? Put your ears on. Seek God's face. Ask him. Ask him. You're not supposed to question God. Who told you that? The Bible said, come let us reason together. You better read your Bible. Come let us talk about this thing. Let us discuss.
about this. Oh, bless the name of God. You can ask God whatever you will. He'll give you the answer if you dare to seek him. I remember I was telling my chief apostle, he's in the room tonight. We were talking this week and I said to him, I remember years ago, amen, I was coming up as a young boy in holiness. After stepping out of the Baptist church, I remember years ago, as I was coming up in holiness, something hit this earth. I think it was syphilis or gonorrhea. One of them, them, them sexually transmitted diseases hit. hit. It was, it was, they almost called it an epidemic. And hit, and I remember just as good as I was sitting in this chair right now. I remember the pastor that I was under in the Church of God in Christ. I remember him calling a fast, tell calling a night of shut in. They were shut in the church and fast doing that shut in. And I remember, Amen. We are praying. They're praying on the altar, binding up that demon, and asking God for the solution. And before you know it. That thing that died out, they found a, a solution to the pollution. So what am I saying? Put your ears on. Speak to God. Talk to God about it. Ain't no need to worry what the night's going to bring. Because it's going to be all over in the morning. All you got to do is talk to God. He'll tell you, man of God. He'll tell you, woman of God. He'll tell you just exactly what's going on. He'll tell you the way out of it, too. He even tell you how to dance around it. David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. Hallelujah. I got the, got the deliverer with me. I got the healer with me. I can walk through death. I can walk around death. I can walk by death because I got the deliverer with me. Yeah, bless his name. Saints of God, we're in the valley of the shadows of death. You better know how to walk through it. God bless your elder Greg Barnes. You better know how to walk through death. You better know it. You better have the anointing of God. You better be covered by the blood of Jesus. You better know your authority and who you are in Christ and be able to walk through the valley of the shadows of death and fear no evil and know that God is with you. Ha, huh. bless his name. Do you have your ears on? Are you listening to God? Are you listening to man? Are you listening to the president? Are you listening to the government? Are you listening to folk that think they know what's happening? Get your ears on and listen to heaven. Tune into heaven. Tune into heaven. Tune your spirit into heaven and see what God is saying concerning the land. Uh, God, is, God is talking expressly in the last days. Are you listening? Do you have your ears on? Are you listening to God? Are you listening to man? Are you listening to your feelings? Are you listening to, to, to things that are not profitable? Praise the Lord. Are you listening to what the Lord is saying by his spirit? Are you listening to what the man God is saying? By his spirit. Do you have your ears on? Are you listening to God? I know it looks bleak. I know it looks bad. I know it even looks frightful. But put your ears on. Listen. Talk to God. Listen to God. And after you've done all your talking... I think Pastor I used to tell us after you've done all your talking, shut your mouth and listen to God. Hear him. And he will give you clarity. He will give you direction. He will tell you what you need to do in this hour and in this season. I'm not concerned. And I'm not worried. Because I'm listening to heaven. I'm getting instructions from heaven. I'm getting instructions from the general of heaven. He's given me my orders. Ah, oh, bless his name. He's given me my orders. And I'm listening. And I'm moving as he tells me to move. I'm moving as he's instructing me to move. Do you have your ears on tonight? He that has an ear, 
let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. For the Spirit is speaking, as Paul said to Timothy, in our base scripture tonight, for the Spirit is speaking expressly in the latter days. He is speaking. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening to what God is saying? Are you listening to what the world is saying? Are you listening to what mom and daddy, sister, brother is saying? Are you listening to the Lord? Many of us saw that movie, The Color Purple, and the closing song was Speak, Lord. Speak to me. And that's what you need to be saying. Speak, Lord. Speak to me. Speak, Lord. Speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. God hasn't spoken to some of y'all in a long time. You haven't heard God's voice. You say, well, Lord, maybe I'm just too far. No, you just got in the place where you need to be. You're not in that, that secret place. You're not in that quiet place where he can speak. You're doing a lot of talking, but no listening. But get in that place. Get in that quiet place. Get in that secret closet. Look, I Get in that secret closet where God can speak. He can tell you exactly what's going on. The answer. The answer is in heaven. He wants to speak. Do you have your ears on the liar? Do you have your ears? Maybe you've been to accept Christ as your personal Savior. It all it takes is saying, Lord, I'm a sinner. Lord, I've committed sin. Forgive me of my sin. Cleanse me and make me a new creature. I accept Jesus as my personal Savior. And I make him Lord of my life. That's all. If you prayed that prayer for the very first time and you've never prayed that prayer before, or maybe we even rededicate your life back to Christ, write me at my email address, wings of an eagle worship hour outlook.com, and let me know that you've accepted Christ or you rededicate or you rededicated your life. I want to get information into your hands that'll help you continue to grow in the Lord. You don't have a church home and you're looking for a church home. You're looking for somewhere where you can grow in God where the word is being preached. I want you to write me my email address. Wings of Eagle Worship Power. Outlook.com And I will give you the information of a church in your area where you can go and grow. I'm connected from here to Africa. And I want to connect you with a place where you can grow in the Lord. And we know a lot of places are not, church doors are closed right now because of the situation. But I still can direct you to the leadership of that church. We thank God. Don't forget you want to sow into my life and God leads you to sow into my life which will also go right into the ministry my cash app is there NJ Bishop D money sign NJ Bishop D soon after I've gone off this will be over in YouTube before the week is over I'm going to try to get to it tonight and send it to YouTube visit my YouTube channel all of my videos are there or you can visit the website go to the Wings of an Eagle Facebook page 
and the link is there where you can click on the link and go to the Wings of a Eagle Christian Fellowship website. You'll be able to see the structure of Wings of an Eagle along with the structure of Victoria International Fellowship. Visit the website page. Share this video with somebody when I'm gone off. Hit that like button if you haven't hit it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. So that you'll be made aware every time that I post a video, you'll be notified. Thank you so much. I, this, I'm able to do this. I'm able to continue to do this with the sponsor, Tons, T-O-N-Z, Tons Mart, who is one of our sponsors on a monthly basis, who sows into the ministry monthly on a monthly basis. He is one of our sponsors, Tonsmart.com. Go to Tonsmart, T-O-N, Z-M-A-R-T, Tonsmart, T like Tom, O-N, Z like Zebra, M-A-R-T like Tom, Mart.com. And I'm telling you, he has some great stuff that you can order. Amen. He has some great, some great, great things that you can order from him. I have ordered some things, and I'm telling you, I am satisfied with the quality. Because if I wasn't, I wouldn't be saying it now. And he sure wouldn't be my sponsor. But then he has some great items you can order. Tonsmart, T-O-N-Z dot com. T-O-N-Z-M-A-R-T dot com. Go there, look at the products that he has. Amen. Patronize. Amen. Be a blessing to him and, and his business. I'm telling you, you you will you will love what he has. Amen. He, he, I've ordered from him. I've got some merchandise. I'm telling you, I am well pleased. I believe Tons is in the house. Amen. And one of these Sundays, I'm going to bring him on when he's on and let him greet you. And you can meet the owner and profiteer of Tonsmart.com. Go there. I'm telling you, you will, won't be disappointed in the products there. He is one of our sponsors. He sponsors this ministry. And I, amen. He's been a longtime friend. His sister, amen, is part of this ministry. Amen. Evangelist Margot Prince, who is part of this ministry, been part of this ministry for many, many years. So I thank the Lord. Visit Tom's Mart. T, like Tom, O, N, Z. Tom. I guarantee you'll be blessed. Amen. I guarantee the products is 100%. And I thank you. And whatever you pray from Tom's Mart. T O N Z M A R T dot. I am excited. I am excited about what God. Don't forget the prayer, clarion prayer call on Thursday night at 7 30, right here, Facebook Live. The prayer line will be open. On Thursday night as well, 720-835-5366. Use the access code. Amen. Use the access code. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Use the access code of 09855. We're getting ready to leave here now. Bless the name of God. Remember, you don't have any troubles. All you need is faith in God. Don't drown. Don't sink. Tie a knot in the end of the rope. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. For your help is already on the way. Remember, do you have your ears on? I'm Bishop Darrell Towns. The visionary and founder, Wings of Evil with Christian Fellowship Ministries. I am your host, Wings of Evil Worship Hour. God bless you. Until we meet again next Sunday at 7.30 p.m. for another Wings of Evil Worship Hour. Remember, the eagle flies.